The country music world is mourning the death of Mindy McCready. She was found dead Sunday night. Investigators are calling it an apparent suicide. She got her start in the music scene when she was 18 and had a string of hits in the 1990s. KFTM reporter Leslie Rangel is following the story with reaction from a mental health expert in Jefferson County. Leslie? Many of those who knew McCready and who were aware of her struggles say her death doesn't come as a surprise. The former country music star had a lifelong battle with a number of problems including depression, alcohol abuse and prescription drug abuse. It wasn't the first time she attempted suicide. Sunday night at her home in Heber Springs, Arkansas. It's the same place her boyfriend killed himself just one month ago. McCready had been in and out of rehab many times. She was in court for custody battles and as a victim of domestic violence. KFDM News spoke with a mental health counselor, Jane Bordelon. She says if the music star would have sought help, she might be alive today. Bordelon tells KFDM News mental illness is a disease that can lead to suicide. Bordelon openly talks about her battles with depression and knows firsthand what it's like. The feeling of, of like drowning, that you can see the surface of the water, but you keep going further and further and further under the water, and it gets darker and darker and darker. And unless someone is there to say, hey, you know, there's a problem here. We need to get you help. We need to get you, make sure you're safe. Uh, a person would, would take their life. Now, Bordelon says we need to better educate people on how to treat mental illness. She thinks the state and we as a society must do more. Because you can see a scar maybe from heart surgery or you've been educated enough about a heart disease. You're very understanding about that. But with mental illness, people still are not educated enough about it uh, because of the, the shame associated with mental illness. Now, I'm If you suspect someone near you is facing mental health issues, depression, perhaps thinking about suicide, Bordelon says there are warning signs. If someone near you has a hopeless feeling, if someone says you don't have to worry about me much longer, or says outright they want to kill themselves. They often isolate themselves and have swing mood, mood swings. Bordelon says it's important not to ignore warning signs. Don't leave the person alone. You can also call the Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800-273-TALK. That's 800-273-8255. Reporting live in the studio, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News.